kind of a different direction for uh, vertical epic. If you're, if you're not familiar with the vertical epic series, it's it's uh, kind of Stone's uh, muse. I mean, this is an opportunity for us to play around with adjuncts. You know, we, we talk a lot about how we don't have adjuncts in our beer, but adjuncts could be any anything additional to barley, hops, water, and yeast. Uh, this is an opportunity where we can use adjuncts, but natural adjuncts. In, in, in the case of this beer, um, it's, it's a imperial Belgian porter is the base with tangerine peel, dry tangerine peel, um, and fresh vanilla bean. We love to mess around with vanilla bean and beer at the brewery. We do a, a smoke porter that we have just at the brewery only. Um, we, we, we usually just do small batches. Well, we just love how vanilla bean went with that, that porter, the, the, you know, those cocoa flavors, and, and, uh, and, and, and porter in general. So we decided to make a bigger batch of it, and that's what, that's what inspired this beer. Now, the tangerine peel uh, in Belgian beers is, um, you know, they, they use dried, dried uh, citrus peel in a lot of Belgian beers. And typically, you find them in uh, Belgian wit beers, you know, like Pooh Garden or uh, oh, Whitkirk or any, any of those beers where they use uh, dried citrus peel. In this case, we use tangerine peel. So uh, an, another way for us to kind of go in a different direction. I mean, it is Stone Brewing Company, after all. Um, this is nine, about 9%. It's hovering a little above 9%. It, yeah, it's about the highest, highest in the whole world. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. It is a good, the, 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 belt, the uh, vertical epics are, you know, unlike Old Guardian and Imperial Russian Stout, they, they, they hover around 9 and below. I mean, it's, yeah, so they never really go higher than 9%. You're one of the first to try this beer right now. I mean, it's just it's just hitting the streets as we speak, so this week you'll start to see it in the stores. Um, we made very little of it, so just just so you know, before you, because my phone number is on the website, you know, you can call me anytime. It's my cell phone number. Before you start ringing me to, to let me know that you can't find the beer, there's, you know, we didn't make enough, or, you know, yell at me. I'll apologize right now. We we made very little of this beer, so when you see it, buy it. Less than your normal market. Half on half. Ooh. So this is about half of our normal production. That's a great. Economy wise, or just thinking you wouldn't sell it, or it didn't turn out the way you wanted. No, to? Uh, you know the, the production. We, we wanted to we wanted to sell it out quick. We wanted this to be in and out because it's the vertical epics and the anniversary beer were very close together. The anniversary beer, um, if, if you you know all have had it, it's. You can still kind of find it out there. There's, the vertical ethics and the anniversary are kind of running into each other on these releases. So with the special release beers, we want to like have them in the store. You find them, buy them, take them home, and have them be real special. Like you know, this is this is something something really cool that we have. And I think we know when they're going to come out. What's that? We know we know when they're coming out. Well, the and, and yeah, there's no <laughs> secret when it's coming out. But um, for us to make these big beers, it does it, it does take up the tanks. I mean, we're making thanks to. You guys drinking a lot of IPA? We're making a ton of IPA in here, you bastard. Well, you know, we are a small brewery still, so. We want more small batch. Yeah, we, the small batch beers are continuing to be a challenge. So having these two kind of back-to-back -back made it uh, two smaller batches. Next year, we won't have so much that issue. Uh, double bastard, you'll get a ton. So there'll be some breathing room there. And you'll be able to buy enough double bastard. There's enough double bastard? Oh, come on. Double bastard's awesome. awesome. Yeah, there'll be, there'll be plenty of double bastard. And as we get to the end, to the 03 in this series, you're really going to see how these beers are meant to age. When I say that they're bottle condition age, you're going to get to see firsthand. So as I've talked to a couple people tonight, this will hopefully inspire you to discipline yourself. <laughs> because I know it's hard. I hear it, I hear it a lot. I, 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 and it's not just you guys. So understand you're not alone. But the, one, of the, one of the things that we want to accomplish by doing this tasting is to discipline you to, to yeah, keep these beers hiding from yourself. Buy three. Buy three, drink two double bastards, and you'll forget where you put it. And then when you do find them, by the time you find them again, you'll be so happy that you won't be mad at yourself or getting too drunk to remember where the beer